Welcome back. Okay, let's take a crack at this leap year problem. So I want to check if the year mod 4 is equal to 0, which means that it will be a leap year, so I should return true. Except I can't return true quite yet, because I also have to check if the leap year is divisible by 100, in which case I need to return false. So before I do that, I need to check if the year mod 100 equals 0. In that case, I want to return false. However, I also can't return false quite yet, because before I can do that, I have to check this one, this third condition right here. Is it divisible by 400, in which case it is a leap year? So here I check if year mod 400 equals 0, then in that case, I want to return true. So this looks a little bit confusing, but you can see here, if the year is divisible by 4, then I want to return true, but before I do that, first I have to check if it's divisible by 100, in which case it's not a leap year, so I need to return false. And then, before I can do that, I need to check if it's divisible by 400, in which case it is. So I think this is correct, but I'm going to have to run this just to be sure. So let me run the unit test, and I'll run through all of these tests. It's going to expect that 2015 is false, because it's not a leap year. 2016 is a leap year. 2100 is going to be false, and 2000 is going to be true. So I'm going to hit Control B and have Sublime Text run this. Whoops! This output right here is okay. It looks like an error, but this is just the system exit uh, exception that's raised whenever sys.exit is run, which is what how Python terminates a program. To avoid th that from showing up, though, I can just type... I can pass false for the exit keyword to main right here. So now when I run this, you can see that all four tests pass, and we have completed this assignment.